So these are the two bins and we got a Hobby Lobby. We're gonna put this in Natalie's room for her to organize some things. And then this is what I'm gonna put in the shoe bin area in our little cubby area. I'll show it in the hall closet. I find that these work really well. The size is perfect and I can just put it in there and it slides in and out. So one girl will have one for her shoes. The other one will have the other one for her shoes. So this is the same cabinet type thing that we had in our coat closet. The other house, I did a video on it a long time ago. I'll try to remember to link it. And then down here I had two open shoe bins. So what I found, I got this one at Hobby Lobby last year and I found that it fit in there perfectly. So it works out great because you can slide it out and you can see the things all the way in the back and I found that that worked great. I went back to get another one and they no longer had them for the season. They were sold out. So I ended up going back and getting this one today. They're $6.99 and right now the spring stuff was on clearance or no, it was on sale for 40% off. So that one just sits down inside there like there. So then we'll have one on each side and then shoes on both sides would be easy to get to. Originally I had all the kids shoes in here and then I had some of my shoes in here. But since their feet have gotten bigger, since I originally did this two years ago, um, I'm gonna do one for Isabella and one for Natalie. I would have got the same color, but they were actually sold out of the purple that we got last year. And actually now looking at it, the blue, if I could go back and get another blue one, the blue one would match better. But this was actually the only color they even had this year. So if I can go back and get a second blue one, it'll match. And I can use this in one of their rooms. So I just have to sort through all these shoes and figure out who's been as who's. Last year, I, I used this little one for flip-flops, like just here in the front. So I'm going to figure out if we're going to do that this year or not. Um, but once I get this system down, like this is easy enough that the girls can, you know, slide this out, toss their shoes in and slide it back in. So like these are Isabella's. Isabella's actually getting ready to outgrow a bunch of shoes. You see she scuffed up the toes on all of her shoes. Um, but she's getting ready to outgrow a bunch of them. If they're in good condition still, um, I will hand them down to Natalie. And if they're just beyond repair, then sometimes we toss them. Um, but for now, we'll stick those in there. Those are both Isabella's. I've got to figure out whose these are. I think these are Natalie's. They look kind of tiny. So some of these, um, I'm going to have to go through shoes and start weeding out the things that aren't going to fit. But for now, I'll just stick what's downstairs in here. And for boots, if they have boots that they're wearing, I'll actually put those like stacked in the front because like primarily right now, boots is what they're wearing and we don't have to worry about sandals. And so these are Natalie's boots. I'll just stick those there in the front. Isabella actually has two pairs of boots. She's got her little dress boots that she wears to school. So they don't have to be super organized because the kids will get in there and get them out. But that is what we're gonna do for shoes. And this seems to work out okay for us. And then we keep all their extra shoes upstairs in their, upstairs in their closet. And then as the seasons change, obviously the boots and things like that, I will take out of here. I won't leave them in here year round. I just leave the in season shoes, except for those sandals, obviously, um, down here. And then once it's winter, these won't fit Bella next year. Obviously, her feet will grow. So I'll, if they're in good condition and they're re reusable, I'll send these to Natalie's closet and put them in like the shoe storage area that I have. So I may just do like a whole video on this when I start switching out shoes for the spring. But I think that this should work nicely for. Keeping these shoes organized. I liked having this one in here anyway, so I think it'll be nice to have one on each side. So then I started to get rid of a couple shoes that I had in here for me that I wasn't using anyways. Um, ones that I can just get rid of. And then I had these in here. They're fairly new, but I don't really wear them that often, so I'm just going to stick them upstairs in my closet. And then I'm going to stick their snow boots outside in the garage. We have an extra coat closet out there. So I'm going to stick those in the outside coat closet. And should be good to go. And I'm getting ready to vacuum, so I'm not going to wind the cord up on this and everything. But I just put it in there to show, so that's where we keep our vacuum. And it can kind of push backwards a little bit. And then that is what the coat closet looks like. So then we hang our backpacks up there. And this works for the time being. Eventually, I would like to find some way to hang their backpacks lower. Because obviously, I have to be the one to put those up there. All right, so we're testing it out. Isabella's going to hang up her backpack. Go ahead. Can you hang it on the hook? Just like at school, ta-da! It's 